Hello everyone, in this video I am going to talk about the three primary electronic components like resistor, capacitor and inductor. Now let me start from the resistor. Resistor which has the property that which resists the flow of electrons. That means it resists the which opposes the flow of electric current and which converts the electrical energy into heat energy and dissipated to the surrounding environment. The resistor can be graphically represented as like that and which is denoted by R whose unit is U. And uh, the resistor can also be explained by Ohm's law that is R is equal to V by H which means that the resistor is inversely proportional to the flow of current. So both of them exactly opposite. There are many types of resistors available in the market that is wire bound resistor, carbon composite resistor, metal film resistor, carbon film resistors. Carbon is the leading material which is highly used in the resistor because of its high resistivity as compared to the nickel chromium and the other materials. The electronic component is a capacitor which has the property that it stores the energy in the form of electric charge which is made of two plates both of them are separated by the dielectric materials like glass, mica or dry air or plastic to store the electric charge and which is graphically represented as this is a non-polarized capacitor. Here it is a symbol of polarized capacitor. And here it is a symbol of variable capacitor. The capacitor which is denoted by C whose unit is farads. The capacitor can be explained through Q by U. So the capacitor is directly depends on the electric charge and the, one, the current across the capacitor can change instantly but it takes some time to change the voltage. There are uh, many types of capacitors available in the market that is dielectric capacitor, electrolytic capacitor, polystyrene capacitor like that uh, several capacitors are available in the market in different ratings. The third electronic component is the uh, inductor. Similar to the capacitor, it also stores the energy in the form of electromagnetic field. Inductor is a coil of wire which produces the magnetic field proportional to the current flowing through it, which is graphically represented like this and whose, which is denoted by L whose unit is inductor. And also the inductor which is directly proportional to flux through it and inversely proportional to the current flowing through it. The voltage across the inductor can change instantly but it takes some time to change the current. There are uh, many types of inductors available that is uh, air core inductor, ferrite inductor, laminated core inductor. So like that uh, many inductors are available in the market. Now you look at this table here. If two resistors are connected in series which is the equal resistance can be calculated as R1 plus R2. If two resistors are connected in parallel, so the equal resistance can be calculated by R1, R2 divided by R1 plus R2. Now, in case of capacitor, if two capacitors are connected in series, the equal capacitor can be calculated as C1, C2 divided by C1 plus C2. If it is parallel, we can simply add the two capacitors, C1 plus C2. Now in inductor, if two inductors are in series, you can simply add the two inductors to find the equivalent inductors. If it is parallel, L1, L2 divided by L1 plus L2. Now you look at the second table. Here the voltage across the resistor is V is equal to I into R which is derived from the Ohm's law. The current across the resistor is obviously V divided by R. Now look at the capacitor, the voltage across the capacitor is 1 by C integral I dt. Then the current across the capacitor is 
C into that is rate of change of voltage with respect to time dV by dt. Then the voltage across the inductor that is L into rate of change of current with respect to time that is L into dI by dt. The current across the inductor is 1 by L integral V dt. Okay. To conclude this, the resistor which displays the electrical energy whereas the capacitor and inductor or stores the energy in the form of electrostatic field and electromagnetic field. Hope you all understand the basic electronic components like the resistor, capacitor, inductor in this video. Thanks for watching. Thank you.